hello and uh, welcome. This is Group 6's Ball and Beam project, um, the PID controller. Here's a photo of the project. As you can see, the whole thing's 3D printed. Uh, we have laser cut acrylic uh, beam, which is actually in a V channel to make sure the ball stays in contact with the linear potentiometer, which is along this side right here. Uh, the actual bridge here was driven by a belt attached to a servo down here on the other side. Um, so what we used um, some equations. Uh, this is from the fall semester. Uh, we used this to help find our transfer functions and equations that we used um, to implement and create a block diagram in Simulink, uh, which is this here. So using the block diagram, we actually came up with the algorithm that we needed for the code, um, for the Arduino code to run the um, ball and beam. And so that's um, this is the Simulink model here. We actually ran a demonstration Simulink simulation. Um, so this is what it looked like in Simulink. Um, unfortunately, the values that we got actually weren't quite what um, we ended up with. Uh, we had to play with it a little bit in Arduino. Um, we also used MATLAB to try to determine the gain constants here, which, which are these. Um, same thing. We got a similar thing to what we got in Simulink, but unfortunately it didn't quite work out when we switched over to Arduino. We ended up playing with the values, so this is our Arduino code. Um, initializing all our variables here, and then we have it reading on the potentiometer. Um, so basically if the potentiometer reads a certain distance from where we want it to read by um, the knob potentiometer, it'll actually change the direction of the servo, which will in turn um, rotate the beam and move the ball to the desired location. So that's what this is all about here. Um, so again, the gains actually were different than what we ended up getting on simulating and stuff. Um, but so we used the data that we got and we made this nice little chart here. So this is what actually happened when we were running the, uh, the ball and beam. Um, so this is the data from Arduino. We made this plot. So this is the position um, of the ball on inch, in inches on the um, actual beam itself and then versus the time. We just, we just took data from 30 seconds. So that's what we got there. Um, and then if you want, we can actually show a little clip. This is the, this is the video of uh, the project actually working. The link is right up here in the top. We'll also put it in the description. Um, but so here's a little clip of the actual project while it's running. And then so the, the ball, that was right at the end when the ball came to rest. Um, this is the timer that we use. So once the ball comes to rest, it has to sit there for 20 seconds. So that's what goes on here. Um, that's what we finish with. And uh, yeah, that's it for Group 6's Ball and Bean Project. Thank you.